too much on an academic design and also were hampered because of licensing issues, couldn't use the existing structure because of incompatibility with the GPL and reinvent a lot of pieces as well. And that's where these number of years went. It's not a matter of people, you know, worked on this for a number of years and were smart enough and in, in capable and only smart but I think that, that they were working on it and it's a lost cause is they were working on in some sense the wrong problem, the wrong part of the problem. They're not working on trying to demonstrate, you know, show a proof of concept, a complete end-to-end -end solution, minimal solution. They were focusing more on an academic approach to this, on a long-term strategy, on trying to get the whole generic infrastructure in place, which is nice and long, but doesn't give anybody any short-term result to show or give people any confidence that this works, even though it does. So I mean, that's the real problem. And then again, going back and forth, say, OK, you know, we tried to get this other solver with this DPL and with this, and which really wasn't right, and now we switched to ISL, and there's a lot of <coughs> churn involved, which really was unnecessary churn, but that's unfortunately the path that the developers took. But again, using an integer solver for a polyhedral model solution is something that has been implemented in other compilers and does function. So yeah, as far as you know, proving that this is capable of, you know, in a real world product, this IBM XL compiler does this and does it in 125 hours. And so it is possible for this type of infrastructure to work. So, so no more questions? I guess we have Yeah, we're going to short break and now we have two. There's, we're going to split up. There's the RMS block and uh, the next.